things are contagious in a good way, like the beat, the sound, and the infectious joy of these Swedes at their best. Yes, I'm down and feeling blue. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ABBA songs. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Number 10, Super Trooper. The title track from ABBA's 1980 album hit number one on several countries' charts and was a major dance hit in the U.S. Its opening a cappella harmonies lead into a mid-tempo charmer that's so upbeat in mood one doesn't initially notice it's a song about loneliness and longing. Very Abbott to do that. Number 9, SOS. Where are those happy days? They seem so hard to find. A major number one hit around the world, SOS reached the top 15 in the US and the top 10 in Canada. Whatever happened to our love? I wish I understood. The song starts out with a feeling of melancholy and tension, both in the music and in Anjenta Feldskog's vocals. So when you near me, darling, can't you hear me, SOS? But as soon as the chorus hits, the bouncing music overwhelms. Any doubts that this singer won't really be able to carry on are quickly dispelled. When you're gone, though I try, how can I carry on? Eight, gimme, 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 a man after midnight. Covered by teen pop wonders, guitar virtuosos, electronica bands, and even goth metal musicians, and sampled by Madonna herself, gimme, 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 a man after midnight was a huge hit, except in the U.S. More blatantly carnal than many other ABBA songs. It sizzles with energy and is an awesome song to dance to. Even people who hate disco can't help but get moving when this one comes on. Number 7, Waterloo. first made waves with 1974's Waterloo, which won that year's Eurovision Song Contest. With a bouncy and extremely singable chorus, it soared to number one in numerous countries, including Britain, and made the top ten in the U.S. All was said and done, six million singles were sold, and ABBA was launched to stardom. Number six, the winner takes it all. I don't want to talk about things we've gone through. Another top ten hit in the U.S. The winner takes it all is all about a painful breakup. Now it's history. Written at the same time as the divorce of ABBA members Bjorn Olveus and Agnetha Feldskog, the song's heartfelt lyrics seem to be a highly personal statement. The winner takes it all. It's also a major highlight of Mamma Mia, the stage and film musical drawn from ABBA's song catalog. The winner takes it. Number five, Fernando. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Fernando is often considered ABBA's biggest selling single, racking up worldwide sales of more than 10 million copies. In the firelight, Fernando. And 
deservedly so. It's hard to resist Annie Fried Lingstad's compellingly tender, slightly achy solos. There was something in the air. with its airy flutes and softly strummed guitars, creates an oddly peaceful setting. If I had to do the same again, I would, my friend, Fernando. And how many pop songs are about people feeling nostalgic for their days as revolutionaries? Yes, if I had to do the same again, I would, my friend, Fernando. Number four, Knowing Me, Knowing You. No. Breaking up is hard to do, as another songwriter once said, but it's handled in a pretty adult manner in Knowing Me, Knowing You. The matter-of-fact lyrics and forceful and determined arrangement paint a clear picture. This heart may be broken, but it's better off that way. The message resonated worldwide, hitting the top three in at least ten countries. Number three, Mamma Mia. Although not a major hit on the US charts, the song has still become one of those most identified with ABBA. Part of this is due to its use as the title of the ABBA musical. As well as the undeniable catchiness of its chorus. Mamma Mia fared better initially on the international market. After all, who can resist a song that features a marimba? Number two, take a chance on me. At least 14 countries welcome Take a Chance on Me into their top 10 charts. The song's distinctive title rhythm, derived from a repetitive phrase Bjorn Olveas chanted while running every day. Combined with a crystal clear Euro pop production and those trademark ABBA harmonies, it's an enticing, alluring sound that you want to hear over and over. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen was a massive mega hit and chart topper in more than a dozen countries. It's also the only ABBA hit to reach number one on the US pop charts. Hey, it's even the favorite song of Senator John McCain. That's how catchy it is. An incredibly powerful single, Dancing Queen captures a moment of pure, youthful joy. You are the dancing queen, young and sweet, only 17. When you're listening
listening to this song, you get the feeling anything is possible. And that's a rare feeling. Looking out for another, anyone we do, you're in the mood for Do you agree with our list? What other ABBA tunes should have popped up on this list? For more enthralling top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Watch Mojo.